How you doing, everybody? My name's Ken Marco. I'm over here at Chavin Jeep uh, in Horsham, Pennsylvania. Just wanted to go over the Wrangler Oscar Mike uh, edition. With the Oscar Mike edition, you'll notice that it has so many different things than any other car out there, uh, any other Wrangler out there. With the with the Oscar Mike edition, you have the the black grill. Um, you also get the emblems on the hood. You have the star here, the military, the Army star. You also have the Army star back by the uh, the tail of the vehicle. Uh, with that, you have this is based off a of sport. In the sport, the sport you, you get different wheels with this vehicle. These wheels are Sahara wheels. So you also have the Sahara running boards and the painted fender flares. Normally, you don't get that with the. Uh, the sports. You'll get the black fender flares with the black top. This has the painted fender flares with the black top. With this vehicle you get the 3.6 Pentastar engine. There's your V6 3.6 uh, Pentastar engine. You have the old school clips that hold the hood, still hold the hood down just like the old school Jeep, the old school military Jeep. I'll put those clips back on. A little tough when they're new. Let me take you around to the driver's side. You have the Oscar Mike emblem, Oscar Mike emblem on the side of the vehicle. I'm going to let you, the customer, sit this side. I'm going to run around to the other side and show you some of the interior features. Some of the interior features on this vehicle, let me turn the vehicle on for you so you can see some of the, uh, the features that we have. You have your instrument cluster right in the center there, right where it says door ajar because the doors are open at this time so you'll always know when your doors open. Uh, along in that, in that same instrument panel on this side of the steering wheel you have a menu, you'll be able to go through all of your all of your settings on the Wrangler. You have cruise control on this side. Your wipers are here, both front and rear. All you have to do is twist. Uh, the back one is back here. On the right, on the left hand side, you have your turn signals and your headlights, as well as fog lights. All you have to do is pull and your fog lights come on. This vehicle is equipped with a, four, a 430 Uconnect which is the radio. It's kind of neat because you have a CD player in the back of it. Behind that CD player you can also play a DVD as long as you're in park and the emergency brakes on the DVD will play right in here. You have Sirius XM radio, AM FM, also you have Bluetooth and connectivity group with this vehicle so you can make phone calls from the vehicle. You can play any media that you have on your phone it won't play a video, but if you go to uh, YouTube and you want to play music off of YouTube, it'll Bluetooth into the car. Uh, your old school vents that turn. It, this vehicle is equipped with power windows. The power windows are right in the center of the console. Right on that dash, you have front and rear. You also have window locks in the back for the parents that want to get the Wrangler and want to lock out the windows in the back for their young children. Uh, heated seats is also equipped in this vehicle. Hill descent control and traction control. Here's your mirror controls. Your four wheel drive, you can shift on the fly at 45, 55 miles an hour. As long as you're in drive, just pull it straight back. The wheels will, kick, will, will lock in. You don't have to worry about uh, locking the hubs. You don't have to do that anymore. So let me take it to the roof. Now inside this vehicle, this one has roof liners. The roof liners help control a little bit of the noise coming through, like if it's raining, sleeting, hitting the roof. It'll control that a little bit more. These are the roof liners that you have. Um, the, the roof, the two front pieces come off. Today's kind of a miserable day, so I could show you how to take them off. You just twist these here, this one, and the two in the back here. There's one here over my head, and there's one in the middle here that you would just twist and then unclip the fronts and both the pass passenger and the driver's side come off. 
The driver's side comes off first before you take the passenger side off. And then after you put them back on, you would just clip them and, and turn them back in like I am right now. You also have to take off the screw in the back, which is right here. You take those screws out. When you take those out, that'll release the two front pieces and the two front panels. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you, I'm going to get out, go to the back seats. I'll show you that these seats have, um, they're a little bit different. They, they put a little more pattern to them. They're a leather seat. Most of the sports don't have leather seats. They're leather with a little bit of um, the uh, cloth and insert, but you also have the heated seats. The nice thing about these is you can also get side seated airbags which protect both the front of the passenger and the, the rear passenger because they come out and pop out the sides. So give me one second, I'll be right with you. If you look at the seats, you have the 60-40 split, they're also leather. Here's your cloth insert has a neat little design to it on the back of the um, the front seat you have the Jeep stitching on the sides here that you can see right here it also has the Oscar Mike emblem right in the middle of the, the driver's seat let me take you to the back of the vehicle The other thing that this vehicle does have, it does have the tail light surrounds. You don't get that on a standard Jeep at all, not the Sahara, unless you order them. Uh, this comes on standards with this vehicle. In the back of the vehicle, you have all season mats, both front and rear. You also have the bag that holds your two front panels that strap in right here on your hooks. You have hooks that are in the back here that you tie those front panels down to. Um, this vehicle is equipped with a, an upgraded stereo that has the all-season um, subwoofer in the back of the vehicle. So you can leave the top down on this or off of this. The whole top comes completely off. If you leave the top off, you don't have to worry about the speaker because it's all weather. It will not blow out. So you can use that and leave the top open. Like I said, the whole top comes off. You remove the three screws on either side. There's one, two, three on each side. Then when you take the two front panels off, there's one at the top of the two front panels when you take those off. Uh, after you take those off, you would just take that screw out. There's a little compartment back here that I'm gonna show you. This holds all your screws for your roof. Right here, this holds your door hinge screws. You can actually take the door hinges off of this vehicle. Your jack is right there underneath that panel. Put this back down real quick. And I will show you the screws to take the doors off. walk you around to this side of the vehicle. If you look at each door, you have a black screw at the bottom here. If you release those screws, you can get the, the doors will come completely off. But just remember, as you take those screws out, this right here is your wiring for your power windows. Make sure you disconnect those. They disconnect in the middle there. You want to disconnect those so the door can come completely off. Same as the front door, you still have the same connects. This one also has is a little bit thicker for your mirrors because you have heated mirrors. So you have to take that one and disconnect that when it's up underneath the dash. This is the 2017 Oscar Mike Jeep Wrangler. Come on down, ask for me. I'm the Jeep guy here. Just give me a call, 215-674-3600, extension 372. And once again, my name's Ken Marco. Thanks for tuning in today.